It's nice to meet you. And and you said your name is Daniel, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, I'm Justin. Nice to meet you. I guess um, my partner here was telling you that we were interested in making a creative offer, like a lease and then purchase. And he said that you were open to something like that, and we probably ought to go through some details if that's true. Is is that true, sir? Yeah, it's true. So, okay. like I told Mike, I'm, I'm definitely open to the idea, but my obvious concern is dealing with investors. I've never dealt with an investor that didn't try to pull a fast one somehow. Okay. So, that's, <laughs> I guess, where we All right. partners and I are somewhat reluctant. I understand. Well, okay, so my my objective would be then to talk through some details with you and see if I can put together an offer that is actually comfortable for you. And I might not be able to. Okay. You know, you might just tell me no. Um and that's okay too, but if you if 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 I can hit, get something that fits, you think you might you guys might be interested in doing business with me, huh? Yeah. Okay, great. Cool. All right. So What's what's most important to you? Well, I've got a purchase price here that Mike gave me. Um, I think a rent amount here. Uh, how much were you? How much would you need monthly if we were to purchase within twelve months? Uh, Forty three hundred. Forty three hundred a month. Okay. Okay. And what what other things are important to you besides that? Um, obviously, we're going to take care of the maintenance during that time. It doesn't look like there's going to be any maintenance, though. It looks like you did a great job. It, on the inside, these pictures. Yeah, so I mean, I, I can tell you right now, the only thing that is, I'm probably, I'm gonna do before, obviously, either leasing it or selling it, is one of the toilets is a little messed up. We've tried to replace parts in it several times, it's still messed up, so I'm gonna replace the entire toilet altogether. Otherwise, there are no known problems. Okay. Okay, so all of this looks good. The numbers, I don't see anything crazy at this moment, but, um, <laughs> What 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 things what apprehensions do you have that maybe I can work on? Because I know you said that you have you know with investors and all that. I'm an investor, and so I I'm a straight shooter kind of guy. I don't want to trick anybody on anything. So what is it that I can do so I guess to help? We've been approached by many investors. And okay. The idea is they don't want to carry any of the risk. So okay. Got it. People came in trying to hey, partner with us, or yeah. I guess in your case, and there's been other people trying to lease it, but then they got, I even talked to my attorney about this. They want to sign the contract, and if the person or the tenant moves out, and nobody's responsible for making payments, obviously that yeah. doesn't make any sense for me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That. So. So you you would feel comfortable if if I were to stay in the middle. And like guarantee the payment, the maintenance. If something goes wrong, I'll be there to take care of it. We we call that a sandwich, where I'm the meat in the middle, and I'm always going to be in the middle until these folks buy, and or until something else happens. I don't know, but that's that's the plan. So that that is what you're describing. I think is that right? Or, so when you say these folks buy, yes, are these folks buying from me or from you? Okay, so because we'll be leasing the property, sir. So what what happens here is what we want to put some good folks in there. We work with executives and other self employed and small business owner type people, and they are wanting to buy a house. Okay, and so you know there's tax returns and there's this and that and all kinds of stuff that go into that for for this type of individual. So nevertheless. Um, what we want to do is we want to put them in that property there and we'll make money from them doing it. But we also know this has to fit you. Okay. They, their objective will be to buy the house from you within 12 months. Okay. So if that doesn't happen in a sandwich, then we would be there to, you know, step right in and take over where they goofed up. But we're not really looking to put so those kind of people in there. So my question is, if they don't buy it, do you buy it? Okay, so worst case scenario, they don't buy the property and they move out, okay? You and I will have to either, I'll either, I'll step in and finish out the term with them or the 12-month term um, that they left or defaulted on. 
and you'll keep whatever non-refundable option fee you collected up front and they'll not get any of that uh, credited in any way or back and then as far as the house selling you'll have options okay the option will be to either a continue on some kind of an agreement with me where i can place somebody in there who will buy the home or you can take the house back put it on the mls or whatever else you're in the driver's seat sir so you know what i'm willing to do though is i'm willing to consider a sandwich where i'll stick around in the middle and be available for these options but you know these other guys they want to assign it and they want to walk away and they want to wash their hands of it i get that too but i'm willing to commit on, on a place where this one's located sure I, i'm i'll think about doing that yeah if you and if you and me can come to something that makes sense i'll stick around if that makes you comfortable yeah for sure okay now i'll tell you this too uh, man i'm not an, been our primary i'm sorry say that again dude I'm saying that's been our primary concern is okay. that, you know, we've had a lot of people just come up and just try to stick themselves in, in between with zero risk. You know, like, okay. Like, what good is it for me if you're just... Yeah, I totally understand that. <laughs> you know, and they want to take all the option fee up front too and, and leave you with a, a piece of it probably, but they keep a lion's share of it and then they walk away leaving you with all of the risk. I get that, all right? However, that being said, I'm not an attorney either. I'm just an investor like you guys. All right. So I, I fix and flip and I'm a landlord and I do wholesale assignments just like those other guys do and stuff sometimes too. So, but in this case, I'd be willing to consider doing a sandwich. I'm not an attorney. I've got documents. I'm going to try to fill out these agreements that I have um, and I'll, and to the best of my ability, which I'm pretty good, but there's going to be stuff in it that probably needs to be worked on a little is that okay if I send you an offer okay. just to get the wheels turning? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. I think. I, when would you guys be looking to have a tenant? Because I still have to get the uh, fire inspection. I still have yeah. to get a couple of fire extinguishers. I have to do a couple of things. Right. Well, we're pretty flexible on that because we haven't been able to talk to anybody in particular yet about this property because we don't have your permission or we don't have a deal with you yet. So. We don't have anything cooking on the fire yet on this one, but we really think we can pretty quickly if that's what your position is. However, if you want to put it off to October 15th, that's okay too. That'll give you two months, but we could do a month. We could do a month and a half. What what fits you? You tell me. I mean, uh, after we make a deal, I could probably get it done within a week or two. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> All right. So. I already have the application. I talked to the township and everything. Like The wheels are moving on my end. So. Okay. Okay, so we'll we'll try to write up the agreement here to reflect uh, something maybe a month maybe a month up the road. Is that is that something we could do? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then you know, like everything will be a little loosey goosey here until you and I come to a final agreement. But yeah, I mean, we'll we'll get something. We'll get the wheels turning here. And um, do we have your email? Or maybe not. Can you text it to me? I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah. Okay. What's your phone number? Yeah, my, my personal phone number is 816-875-6961. Okay. 